Welcome back. As advertised over the past couple of days, we are continuing to monitor a threat for severe weather across western Wisconsin this evening. Throughout the day today, the local atmosphere has been allowed to destabilize. In addition to that, we do have quite a bit of low-level moisture in place, and we also have some wind shear, which is a change in wind speed and direction with height. All those ingredients together mean that storms could easily uh, turn strong to severe here over the next few hours. And with that said, our window to see those is from now all the way until 10 o'clock tonight. Unfortunately, all threats are going to be in play. That includes large hail, damaging winds, a couple, of a couple of tornadoes not being ruled out as well. And given that we do have those higher dew points with all that low level moisture, any of these storms could easily produce some locally heavy rainfall that may perhaps lead to some flash flooding. So the best thing you can do this evening is stay weather aware. Make sure you have ways to receive those weather warnings. And when a warning is issued, you do want to make sure to seek shelter immediately inside a building or home. Well, let's head over to live Doppler radar this afternoon. Not a whole lot going on here in western Wisconsin. We are tracking an isolated shell that has popped up over the last 30 min uh, minutes or so. This is moving northeast out of Trimplo County, affecting uh, parts of uh, Pleasant Valley. It's about to move into the Augusta area right now, but for the rest of us, uh, nothing yet. However, that's a different story over across southeastern Minnesota, where we have more clusters of rain and thunderstorms, even new, a new severe thunderstorm warning for the Spring Valley area in Minnesota. This storm being warm uh, for 60 mile per hour winds and some smaller size hail. Things are dry right now from our Nicolay Bank Hastings Way Skycam, but you can see the ominous clouds in the distance. That's from that cell that we are now seeing move across southern Eau Claire County. As for our current temperature, it's a warm one out there, 83 degrees in Eau Claire. We have a breeze from the south at 15 and our dew point right now in the mid 60s. So that humidity is noticeable. Where we have had some rain earlier this afternoon, that's where it's cooler. Temperatures in the 70s, if not the 60s, up north where we have that green contour. For the rest of us, though, those readings are hanging out in the 80s. Those dew points are commonly in the low to mid 60s across the state right now. And those winds also breezy throughout from the south at around 10 to 17 miles per hour. But those are going to lighten up and actually start to shift later tonight. If you're wondering why we're going to have that threat of severe weather and those storms this evening, well, here's the cold front right here. We have a cold front making its way across east central Minnesota right now, and this is going to slide through later on this evening. Notice behind it, though, we start to get that wind shift out of the west and northwest. Uh, that will cool things down slightly for tomorrow. We're going to pick the heat back up to start off this weekend. And then we get that fall like feel coming into the area, ironically enough, for the start of astronomical fall on Sunday. So as we time things out with Skycast here, this is picking up on that cluster of showers and storms developing over southeastern Minnesota. What you'll notice here, as it progresses eastward, it starts to kind of congeal into a line. When that happens, that's where it transitions to more of a damaging wind threat. Not to say, though, there won't be some brief spin-ups within this line. It's actually going to be pretty similar to what we saw a few weeks uh, back, I do believe. So something to keep an eye on. Uh, this is going to take us through about 10 o'clock tonight. From there, I think the line moves completely out of the area to the east. Through the overnight hours, we are going to get into clearing. And for your Sunday outside of some patchy, or for your Friday, rather, Outside of some patchy fog early in the morning, we are looking at abundant sunshine as we do close out the work week. So for tomorrow, we are going to make it up to a high of 81. We'll be in the mid 80s on Saturday. Rain chances still looking pretty sparse over the weekend. I think our southern areas right now have the best chance to see any rain as it largely avoids the Chippewa Valley. And then there's that cool down, only 68 Sunday with a high of 67 as we start off next week to pay attention to the weather situation. Absolutely, and uh, we'll break into programming if we need to, if any warnings are issued. All right, thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm. Entertainment news is...